Wow. Hi there, folks. I'm very excited. I'm sorry that I'm showing you this prematurely, but I couldn't help myself. This is my latest and greatest invention. This is an air conditioning unit that only uses water and a fan to reproduce cool air. And uh, this is, has come to a steady state now. And you can see that it's just slightly above 70 degrees. I'll point it out to you. And I'm going to back it off so you can see a little bit better. This is it covered in plastic because I, I wanted to show the cooling effect. And now I'm going to turn off the fan and um, remove the plastic. Okay. Okay, and I'll zoom in again on the on the uh, thermometer. And I'm while we're waiting for it to to warm up. This is the opening. I'll take a picture on the outside so you can see it. Here's the fan. Here's the surfaces inside here which are much cooler. The um, this is this is the first this is the first trial with this system. I'm going to be able to do much better. And see you can see as I'm just waiting for the thermometer here. It's moved up a degree. It takes a, a little bit of time, but it's a spring. And you can see that it's starting to move fairly quickly. And what's it? It doesn't seem like it, it's about five degrees differential with a small space. But the fan actually is pulling air from out of this environment. And it actually cooled down one degree while I was waiting for it to cycle down. I just wanted to put the plastic in it so it has smaller area. So you could understand the significance. The as you can see it's down here, a little further. So this is uh it's taken it's gonna take a while for the spring to warm up. And give it about five minutes, it takes about that much time for the spring to warm up and to create the tension that makes the, the hand move. And I've had, so this is a surface area that, that gets cooled by water evaporating. There's water outside, but there, the airstream is not in contact with the water. Okay, so there's a, this is a variation of the M cycle. And uh, so this is a different reworking of that. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because the uh, I'm building my geodesic structures, and it, in order to cool a whole house, it may need to be much bigger than it is here. But here's the significance: to get the same cooling as an air conditioner with this system only requires the energy to run a fan. Okay? The rest of the energy removal comes from the water evaporating on another surface that's not exposed to the stream of the air coming in. So this is dry air as opposed to, to it's the same humidity as the air, air inside the house. This is the air inside the house going in and uh, it's coming out without interacting with any water itself. So that means that the uh, that the air is the same humidity is going in as coming out. This is the house air going in.
This is the house air coming out. Okay, the only thing is it is cooling off about a, against a cool surface. And see slowly, this is coming down. It'll get, I don't know if we'll have time uh, for the video um, because we may run out of time. But you can see it's coming down another degree almost, so it's getting warmer. The temperature is about 75 in the house. So it's got another degree and a half to go, it looks like. Okay. Uh, now, So the significance of the air being dry is unlike a swamp cooler which raises the humidity, this unit does not raise the humidity to make you feel cooler. This is cooling down just like an air conditioner works. And because of the way the cycle is set up, I can design a system that would be make it much cooler. In other words, if you go look at, uh, I'll give you a link to the M cycle and you can go see a system that drops 100 degrees. can do the same thing, but there's less problems with this system. Okay. Uh, it's still taking some time for this to heat up and come down. It's almost to the other one. We've got another minute, but I'm not sure how much time we have left here? Oh, well, we got some time. Okay. Let me take this. Now we, uh, I'll take this camera, and I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to take a picture of the unit itself. Okay. So here. Okay, so this, you can see, you can, this is really rough. There's this styrofoam on the outside that insulates this unit from the outside air. It's very leaky still from a, so, you know, in further things, iterations of the system, it'll be much better isolated from the outside air, which typically will be hotter than the inside, you know, in, in, if you're in Las Vegas or something like that. Okay, so we're about eight minutes. We've got a couple of minutes more. So it's almost the half degree, so it's going to take another couple of minutes for it to warm up. Anyway, so that's, I just wanted to show you, I'm excited about it. Thanks for taking the time to look at it.